Yo, what's going on? It's yours truly, Mr. Telefer. How's everybody doing out there? Yeah, so we're getting close to the NBA trade deadline. Uh, for those who don't know, I do cover the trade deadline and obviously free agency extensively. I'm trying to get better at doing daily news stories on NBA. It's just tough because I don't make a lot of money with this platform. But yeah, uh, I have not covered daily news. But again, once the trade deadline comes around, right the first week in February, I'll be on it. Trust and believe. All the news that's happening, I'll be there. I do cover every trade that happens in the NBA. But if you notice, there hasn't been pretty much any movement in the NBA since like July. The last trade, if I'm not mistaken, was the Chris Paul for Russell Westbrook trade. It's been months, four, five, six months since the last trade. Uh, it is worth noting that December 15th was the first day that anyone signed in the summer was avail uh, available for trade. And hell, you got about... 40 to 50 percent of the league that signed this summer so pretty much half the league hasn't been available for trade which probably will explain why we haven't seen a lot of movement uh, up until this point but now everyone is available for trade obviously excluding the no trade clauses but we're past december 15th now it's time to talk nba movement as we get close to the deadline the hottest name i believe that people have been talking about the one that most teams expect to be on the move the guy that most teams expect to be on the move will be andre Iguodala. Obviously, there are bigger names out there, but the hottest name to me will be Iguodala because Iguodala could really impact a, a team winning a championship or not. I mean, when you think LeBron James and Kawhi Leonard, you think in the playoffs you need a guy who's going to be focused on defending these guys. Andre Iguodala, look, I can't say he's been great guarding LeBron in the playoffs. I mean, the dude, LeBron still averaged like over 30 every time he goes up against the Warriors, but... Uh, Andre Iguodala did win a finals MVP and uh, the big reason why he won that finals MVP back in 2015 was because of his defense on LeBron for what it's worth, right? It, LeBron could have had better numbers if Iguodala wasn't having his part on defending LeBron and I believe Andre Iguodala could be still a really good defender on Kawhi Leonard. In the playoffs last year as the Warriors and Raptors faced off, Iggy wasn't healthy. He wasn't his normal self. I mean, the dude's living out on the West Coast right now promoting his book. He ain't played basketball in months. He's on the Memphis Grizzlies roster right now. He should be well rested whenever he does join a basketball team, which I do expect him to join a team. Now, let me give you an update on the teams we believe out there with the most interest. Iguodala has made it clear he would like to join either the Los Angeles Lakers or the Los Angeles Clippers. Here's my belief. I believe he would join Houston if the, the Rockets were able to make a trade. Daryl Morey has been actively trying to make a trade for Andre Iguodala. The Clippers and Lakers, not really thus far. I think they're both trying to see what the other side is going to do first and what, what they could offer for Iggy. But as of right now, uh, the Rockets have been the only team we know of to make uh, trade offers. They, they sent a lot of offers over to the Memphis Grizzlies, including third teams, because they really don't have a lot to offer. Obviously, they gave a lot of their picks and everything to the Thunder in that Chris Paul, Russell Westbrook trade. So they're just trying to incorporate third teams to get a deal done for Andre Iguodala. Uh, obviously, as of right now, it has not worked out. The Memphis Grizzlies refused to buy out Andre Iguodala. They agreed to do that trade with the Golden State Warriors this summer solely on the premise of we believe Andre Iguodala is still valuable enough to get a first round pick in this league. So that's what they want. Remember, the Memphis Grizzlies are going to, you know, they're going to lose their first round pick for all intents and purposes to the Boston Celtics this year. So they want that to get back into that first round. And they've had their mind set on at least a first round compensation for Andre Iguodala since they agreed to make the move for him with the Warriors, which allowed Golden State to go out and get D'Angelo Russell in a sign and trade for Kevin Durant. So in regards to that, the Memphis Grizzlies have, you know, Iguodala is not with the team. He's away from the team. I thought he'd be good in the locker room with John Morant. He doesn't want to play in Memphis. That's my hometown. He did my hometown. It is what it is. He's waiting on a trade to happen. Obviously, a team out there, like let's say the Portland Trailblazers wanted Iguodala. They have to be cognizant that this dude is in the last year of his deal. So we don't want to trade much. And also, this dude really don't want to be there. He's made it be clear that he wants to be in Los Angeles. So you got to be careful. I think the Rockets are the only team that's willing to go out on the limb and trade for Iguodala with him being in the last year of this deal because the Rockets are all in. That's how Daryl Morey plays the game. Obviously, with Russell Westbrook and James Harden, them boys don't play that much defense. They could use Iguodala even if it is for one run in the playoffs. Now, in regards to the Clippers or Lakers, if I had to give a team a slight edge, I would say the Clippers 
barely. They do have one first round pick left. Remember, they traded pretty much all of their picks to the Thunder as well in the, in, in the Paul George trade. The Lakers don't have any picks for the foreseeable future. They gave all that away for the Anthony Davis. So you got a lot of teams that gave away pretty much all of their big pieces to get a second star. Anthony Davis, Kawhi Leonard, and Russell Westbrook. So they don't really have much to give the Grizzlies. If they had the pick that the Grizzlies wanted, this deal would be done by now. I would say the Clippers have the slight edge. I don't think the Lakers have a realistic shot at getting Iguodala. You know, here's the interesting part. When Kawhi plays, the Clippers are excellent. The Rockets have been up and down. The Lakers have been excellent when they're healthy, right? They've, they've, they got the best record in the NBA. Here's the crazy part about it. Who's going to make a move if it involves a player? Who would be willing to trade a piece from their team? The Lakers look like they're gelling from a chemistry standpoint. Would you really let a couple of those guys go? A Quinn Cook? Would you really let one? You know what I mean? Like, what would you do to get Andre Iguodala? And, and, and how risky would it be for your chemistry? How all in are the Lakers? I threw out the idea of the Lakers possibly going and trading Kyle Kuzma. Now, I know this sounds crazy to me, but Kuzma doesn't seem like to be the best fit in Los Angeles, especially if they're going to get Anthony Davis to sign on long term. And it looks like LeBron's not slowing down. Would you be willing to get, you know, the Grizzlies have a lot of picks coming up in the, in the upcoming years as well. They're stockpiling picks. Would maybe the Grizzlies give up a pick in, the, in a, the next couple years and Andre Iguodala for Kyle Kuzma? I'm just throwing it out there. I'm not saying that this even in the works. It's probably a long shot at best. But I'm just wondering, what would the Lakers do? Because, again, it is the battle between the Clippers and the Lakers. Who gets the defender? That's going to guard LeBron or Kawhi Leonard extensively. So it's a chess match, right? So I got to believe one of these teams are going to go after Iguodala, if not both, as we get close to that deadline. We'll see if the Grizzlies will budge. The Grizzlies have been known to be a pluck. Obviously, if you remember back in the day, they were the team to give the, the Lakers Pau Gasol for Kwame Brown. Now, to be fair to the Grizzlies, in that trade was a very young kid from Lausanne High School in Memphis, Tennessee, Mark Gasol that people don't talk about enough. So yes, the Grizzlies got plucked in the immediate future, but they ended, ended up getting Marc Gasol from the Lakers in that trade. But I'm just putting it out there. I wonder, I do wonder, what would the Grizzlies do if no team has a pick to offer them and they've been they've had their mindset on uh, not buying Andre Iguodala out, but only doing a trade involving a pick for his services. Remember, they bought out Dwight Howard's contract with no problems, and he's been, he's pretty much the Lakers starting center right now. I know JaVale starts a lot of games for the Lakers, but the center that's starting, if it's not Anthony Davis playing the five, they've been rolling with Dwight at the end of games. So, I mean, Dwight's been a valuable piece. Many would argue Dwight's a better player overall than Andre Iguodala. Physically, he's still uh, amazing, right? Like, many would argue that Dwight was the piece that the Grizzlies should have uh, held out more on but again there was not a lot of interest in Dwight at the time the Lakers were one of the only teams willing to take a risk he's kind of bounced around the league the last few years so again the Grizzlies are already looking at Dwight Howard like yo we pretty much gave him away to the Lakers I'm sure they don't want to do that again with Iguodala to a team like the Clippers or the Lakers we will see what happens that's the update I gave you a lot again the Rockets have made multiple offers at, at Iguodala in season to no avail thus far they don't have enough on their own we'll see what happens as we get closer to the deadline teams will realize it's not going to be their year and be more open to trade. So as we get closer to that February, first Fe week of February trade deadline, I have more updates on Andre Iguodala and obviously a lot more. Please subscribe to the platform. Stay tuned. I am updating you on NBA news. I know it's been too long since I've been on camera. I've been doing highlights, highlight, highlights, but I'm on camera again and I'm here for the long haul. I'm out. You in the sports, we got you. NFL news, I got you. NBA news, NBA highlights, NBA full coverage, Feature stories, all that great stuff, I got you. We even got a little bit of Madden and 2K mixed in. Subscribe to this platform, and I got you. More quality content on the way. Subscribe.